Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we go about creating a backup or secondary DNS server using Server Core. And though I'm currently using Server 2019 for this demonstration, there are procedures that I'm showing you for creating a secondary DNS server for your Server Core applies to both Server 2012, Server 2016, and Server 2019. So currently I have my primary domain controller up and I have access to Server Manager. My installation for Server Core is also currently up and it is present on my network. It has been added to my network and it has been promoted to a replica of the domain. So that makes it also a domain controller. So if we go over here to All Servers, you can see that I've already added Server Core to the management console so that I can manage it remotely. So that's the idea and that's how we're going to install DNS and make it a secondary DNS server. We're going to do it remotely from within Server Manager which is located on my domain controller. Now in the previous video when we created Server Core and we promoted it to a replica domain controller for the domain, I had the option when I promoted it to a domain controller to install DNS and the global catalog server. But I chose not to do it at that time because I wanted to be able to show you how easy it is to do this remotely just using Server Manager from a, another domain controller with a full installation. So what we're going to do now is go to Manage and we're going to select Add Roles and Features. We're going to step through this wizard we're going to select the role based or the featured based installation, say next. And now where we have the select the destination server, here's where we select our server core. So I'm just going to go ahead and highlight server core and this is the machine that will receive the installation for DNS. I'm going to go ahead and click next. Now from the available server roles, I'm just going to check the box for the DNS server. I'll say next. I'll accept the defaults here. Say next. I'll say next one more time. And now I will click install. Now once the installation has completed, just go ahead and click on the close button. And now you have DNS installed on your server core. So now that DNS has been installed on our server core, over here in our left menu of our server manager, we can click on DNS, and you'll see that we have two servers that currently show DNS is present. So we can right click on our entry for server core, and from the context menu, we can select DNS manager. And you'll notice that we have two instances of machines that currently have DNS running on our network. We have DC1 and then we have server core. So if I click on server core and I expand it, you'll see that I have forward lookup zones, reverse lookup zones, trust points, and conditional forwarders. If I expand the forward lookup zones, you'll notice that we do not have a zone currently present for our us.cyberoffense.com domain. And if you go up to DC1, you'll notice that we do have a forward lookup zone. And I would like to create a secondary or a backup for this particular zone on our domain. Now to do this, I'm going to go down here to Server Core, go to my forward lookup zones, and I'm going to right click and I'm going to select a new zone. This brings up the new zone wizard. I'm just going to click Next. And here it's going to ask you, what do you want to do? You want to create a primary zone, secondary zone, or a stub zone. I'm going to create a secondary zone. I'm going to click Next. And now we have to browse over for this particular zone that we want to create a secondary of. So I'm just going to browse. I'll go to DC1, Forward Lookup Zones, and I will select the zone that I want to create a secondary of or for. In this case that would be uscyberoffense.com. I'll go ahead and highlight it and I'll say OK. I'll now say Next. Now I have to put in the 
master DNS server IP address. Now that's going to be my DC1. And it finds it, tells me it's fine. I'll say OK, and I'll say next to that. Now I'll say finish. So now if we click on this zone that we just created on server core, you'll see that the zone has not been loaded. That's because we have not told DC1, the primary DNS server, about this secondary DNS server that it needs to share its information with. So next thing we have to do is go up to our forward lookup zones on DC1, and underneath here, where we see our us.cyberoffense.com zone, we have to go right-click and go to Properties. And here we have to go into Zone Transfers. And now we have to add our new secondary DNS server, our server core. So here we click on Edit. And now we're going to insert the name or the IP address of the machine that we want this zone transfer to occur with. So I'm going to type in 192.168.145.12. I just have to click inside the box. The critical stop areas that you see inside of the dialog box indicate that the .11 server is no longer online and that a replication has not occurred with the .12 server, our server core. And we can say OK to this say apply and we say OK and now our secondary zone inside of server core will be allowed to communicate with the primary domain controller which is running our primary DNS server now underneath my server core if I right click on the name of my zone that I want to transfer from the master I can transfer from the master by just right clicking and selecting the option from the context menu. Now the zone transfer can take a few minutes to occur. There has to be the communication and then there has to be the transfer of the records. So you'll notice that that indicator that there was a problem is now gone. And if I expand the cyberoffense.com zone underneath my server core you'll see that I now have all the records and they have been transferred over from my DC1. So once you've configured your zone transfer and everything is the way it's supposed to be, all you have to do is just hit F5 or refresh the DNS manager and if that zone has occurred like it should have, you'll notice that the records were transferred from DC1 over to your server core which is now your secondary DNS server. And so that's going to conclude this short video presentation on how we go about creating a secondary or a backup DNS server using Server Core. So if you have any questions or you have any concerns, please do not hesitate to reach out, contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.